So I thought I'd do this teaser for uh, a new tool that I'm working on. It's uh, an object ID manager. Uh, it's designed to um, help you speed up your workflow to Substance and uh, the V-Ray multi-map elements, which I use a lot. So it's got two completely separate purposes uh, and it's designed to help you mass assign uh, object IDs. So normally what you do if you want to assign an object ID is you click an object in the scene, right click, choose object properties, and then the gbuffer, the object ID is down here. And if you've got to assign a lot of different uh, colors, uh, that's a pain and takes a long time. So um, I really like multi -mat elements for rendering. And uh, when I'm using V-Ray, they're lighter than CryptoMat and um, I find them really easy to use with this tool. So this is how it works. Simply click on an object and you can set a ID to the selected object. So that's um, set the ID one to that object. I can carry on clicking objects and selecting them and choosing that. I can mass select a bunch of objects like that and assign everything to that. I can make all those objects unique and give them unique IDs and you can see that the, the color represents the ID that has been assigned. So I can clear all the IDs in the scene and we can do it a bit more um, controlled in a control manner as it were. So let's just choose all the sales. I'm going to turn on this feature which is find this like free ID in the scene. So I click on it, it's showing that the next free ID is one. So that means that nothing has been assigned. And we'll just click on to auto. Right, so uh, we'll just select all the sales. Oops, the sales, not the ropes. And we'll assign those. So ID one was assigned to those objects. Uh, we're going to assign these to the reef top sales. So this will assign ID two, and then we can select the flags and assign that to selected objects. So the flags now ID three. So uh, with this tool, we can make up a multi-mat element. Uh, it does multi multiple 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 multi elements at the same time. Um, so let's just do a few more objects. So we'll do the hull. And we shall do the characters. And what else? Oh, we'll do the wake. So, um, let's open the script listener. There's a little report that's generated. Um, this probably should have a window, but anyway. Um, when I click on the find next free ID button, it says that the IDs in the scene are used, so this is this array, so one to six. So one to six is used in the scene and everything else is free. So we're having ID 7 here, free. So I can say select a character, pick by hit. So let's do that. Let's pick by hit, pick that character. And it's telling me that ID 5 is assigned to that character. If I highlight everything with ID 5, it selects the crew. So let's just choose a new random ID for them to um, have. And we'll set that. So set ID 10 to those characters. So now it's just telling us that IDs 1 to 4 have been selected and ID 6, skipping 5 and then skipping 7, 8 and 9 and ID 10 are selected. So we've got 1 to 3, 4, 6 and 10. And now I can assign all those IDs to uh, two separate multi-maps. Uh, so let's open up the render settings. If you go into render elements you can see I've got some multi-maps already assigned. So let's just delete those. There we go. And now using the tool I can create multi map elements for all the IDs that have been assigned in the scene. So let's do that all. And it creates two new IDs. Um, we've got multi map element here, one, two, and three. And then it sorts out the remaining multi mats, four, six, and ten, uh, which are the remaining IDs used in the scene. So if I was to assign, say, all these officers their own unique ID, and we'll do make those unique. So you can see all the officers now, these guys are different colors. And we can find the free ID. And it's telling me that 
1 to 10 is now used. It's filled the gaps up with the new IDs that have been signed to the officers. So now if I go and generate some multimat elements, it will try and make uh, multiple multimat elements to cover all those IDs. So let's do that. So it'll update the existing IDs. Uh, so it won't delete anything. So let's do that. So then I got, um, let me see. Uh, uh, that's one. With that multimat is assigned to one, two, three. It's kept four, six, and ten. That multimat ID as it was. And then it starts to fill in the gaps. So five, seven, and eight, and nine, two, and three. So now if I render the scene, oops, let's just do that. You can see that all the multimat elements have been assigned and rendered. So there's some of the officers, and then there's the last officer isolated by himself. Uh, so we have, this is the main area for working with V-Ray. Uh, we've got various other tools down here which are mainly uh, used for working with substance which I'll do a different video on and then we've got some sort of quality of life stuff uh, so we can check object names we can make sure that we lock all the transforms of the objects of our scene so that stuff doesn't get randomly moved and there's a try count button so let's just see what the try count is for all the objects it's uh, one and a half million yes uh, which I find a little bit easier to use than um, again right clicking the object Jeez, blah blah blah, 16,000 faces. And just do select your try count there. And again, that's a quality of life thing for working with game meshes. So you can see that this tool has a broad range of uses, uh, everything from sort of V ray rendering to uh, in game stuff. Um, I've got another tool for working with Substance, which I'll do a video on soon, which is a kind of like pre flight check. Uh, and uh, I guess that I'll do a gun road release for these because uh, they're quite involved and I've spent quite a long time on them. Uh, they have been used in production for a year or two. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think about gun road releases. I don't imagine it's going to be more than five bucks, maybe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for listening.